Welcome back everybody, welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with SteelSeries products and why I'm choosing not to use them. My first example is this keyboard. This is an Apex 350, it is a mobile keyboard, so as you can see it is massive, it takes up my entire desk. I prefer to have a much smaller one, like this. Dell keyboard, I bought at the thrift shop for $10. It is almost 30% smaller and it does everything I need. There's no reason I have 200 keys. And another reason as to why I'm switching is because the Steel Series engine is utter garbage in my opinion. It's not compatible with Windows 10 very well. It has a lot of issues. It's had multiple failures on my PC, and the support is just not there for it. The first six months of owning my Apex 350, I had constant disconnects where I would have to stop whatever I was doing if I was in the middle of a game, and I would have to unplug and replug the keyboard back in. I went on the forums, I wasn't the only one with this problem, and there was no support on the issue. No updates, no help, until two months ago when they finally came out with a patch for the SteelSeries engine that fixed this problem. And mind you, this keyboard is, I believe, three years old. It's been released for three years and they're just getting around to fixing it. It is unacceptable. There were multiple times I tried to contact their support and I never got through for any of my questions or claims, which is why I'm making the decision to completely disband all of my Steel Series products, including the headphones you always saw me wearing in my videos, the Arctis 5s, the RGB, I've thrown them aside and I've went to Kijiji and bought a beautiful pair of Astro A40s for almost the exact same price and I'll tell you they are 2000% better. I don't regret switching at all. The only thing I'm still using is the mouse, which this is the the Rival 300. It's okay. Recently there's been problems with the software for the mouse for me, which is new. I've tried resetting everything and then as soon as I uninstalled the Steel Series engine, the problems on my computer resolved themselves and the moment I reinstalled it to check, I started having problems again with my Windows freezing. So Unfortunately for that problem as well, there seems to be no response at all. Yeah, so go to your local thrift shop and get a ten dollar keyboard. Like, it's got your it's got your media settings over here. It's it's got every key that you need. It may not have a thousand macro keys, but you don't really need them. So overall, having Steel Series products for two years now, I. I would not recommend them at all. Uh, go buy yourself a Razer keyboard. Go to your thrift shop. Support your local business. Don't support Steel Series. I I won't ever again. The support's just not there. They're not engineered that well. One example here is there's a customizable piece of rubber that says Rival. I have had that Fallout probably a hundred times within the last year I've, I've even lost it once and I didn't find it until I removed everything in my room and actually moved it's not engineered well there's nothing to hold it in the materials that the products are made with are strong but that's the only thing they have going for them even the RGB the RBG on the keyboard is inferior to any Razer Chroma products so if you're thinking about buying a Steel Series product, I would strongly advise against it in my own personal opinion. And that's just my opinion. You may love it. You may have a different experience, but that's how it went out for me. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I should have it posted.
either tomorrow or within the next couple of hours. And have a great night.